All right, good morning, everyone. This is already NG. I'm back again. Uh, quickly, I want to say this. Uh, because why I was driving this morning and uh, my heart was just being popped up with uh, a lot of things um, that actually have to do with um, home marriages. Uh, actually, I don't talk about uh, dating. I don't talk about boyfriend and or girlfriend because. I know for sure not every relationship not every dating we end up in marriage so i don't really waste my time talking about marriage uh, boyfriend or girlfriend dating so i want to talk a few drop few things about marriage you know over the years i've come across a lot of people who have tried to school me who've tried to you know educate me regarding marital uh, stuff how to make marriage work um the formula of marriage um you know what kind of i believe you yourself listening to me now you must have listened to one or two persons who tell you that for your marriage to work this is the formula that have been put in place uh you have to follow emulate other people who their homes are working and all of that now these are beautiful sayings these are beautiful comments statements rather made by beautiful people as well uh, but from my own personal perspective and i've discovered that really there is no formula to marriage yeah this my my sounds crazy now there is no formula to a marriage marriage is not like you know coca-cola whereby there is a, a specific formula measurement of uh, uh, sugar measurement of um, water measurement of every um, ingredient that I need to put together to make up coca-cola or to make yeah whatever you call it Marriage is a, is a very different thing entirely. Some call it an institution, but you can call it whatever you prefer, whatever makes you feel good, no? But the reality of marriage is that marriage is a physical thing. It's a physical thing. And the reason for marriage is companionship, union between two persons. And the two persons that are involved in this union are a man and a woman. These are the two persons involved in marriage, which everybody knows, knows about already. If you like, you can dispute the fact that men are stronger than women. If you like, you can dispute the fact that men has a kind of a very strong heart stony heart than the women of course i'm not saying there are no women that have stony heart there are women that have stony heart but majority of them are men of course if you score one over ten two over ten you tried but it's still a failure yeah it's still a failure so you can compare men that score 9 over 10 in terms of having a strong heart to women that have 1 or, that or two, uh, 2 over 10. There are a lot of people have said this over time that men don't need love. What men need is respect. And when you go to the Bible, for those of us who believe in the Bible, it's even stated there. What men need is respect, honor. And what makes women feel comfortable is love, not respect. It is love that makes women feel comfortable. And it is respect that makes men feel comfortable. If you prove to, prove to a woman that you love her, you care for her you make sure though you can't provide everything the woman needs 
you can provide things that women need but you can't provide everything that a woman wants i'm saying again you can provide everything that a woman need but you can't provide everything that a woman wants now you understand already that there is difference between needs and wants so if if you want me to elaborate more on this uh, you can drop a comment regarding that so what i'm saying is a man there is one thing a man need respect honor a woman may, may, may need a lot of things but th these two things don't take it away from a man love and respect and there is one thing the man not just man men hate the most argument don't argue with a man if you are a woman who is married, don't argue with your man. Even if your man is making, um, is not making sense. Even if he's lying. Even if he's not telling the truth. Even what he's doing is not, it doesn't make sense. Don't argue. Now, this doesn't make you less of a human as, as, as the woman. No, this is where the wisdom comes in. Yeah, this is where the wisdom comes in. Men don't want to be pet like babies. Of course, women need want that. Men always want to be whatever they say to be regarded. Now, for instance, if your husband said, walk through this wall, you know there is no uh, door through this wall. Instead of you arguing with your husband, just go straight to the wall. When you get there, tap the wall and tell your husband, ah, there is no road here. And you watch what next, he will say. Now, I'm not saying men should tell, a, uh, tell women to walk through the wall. I'm just making an illustration. I'm talking about respect, obey your husband. The men are also have their own, um, they have their own assignment as well because it doesn't fall on one side only. It falls on both sides. Why the women are striving to do what please the man, the men also will equally strive to do what please the women. You can, you can take away every other thing from your husband. But don't take that respect away from him. And also, argument. Try not to argue with your husband. Because if you really sit down and think about it, you are not going to be rewarded for arguing with your husband. Yeah, I don't think there is any institution in the world that will... Um, um, reward you for disobeying your husband or for arguing with your husband. Nobody. The o I think the only people that will reward you for that are your, some, are your gullible friends who want your home to break. They are the people that will reward you for arguing with your husband and for quarreling with your husband, for fighting up with your husband and for disobeying your husband. Because they assume that this your marriage is going to change your life and make you a better person so they wish for something that you have or they have similar thing but they don't want you to be like them to enjoy what they enjoy so they want to push you out so these are the people that definitely will clap for you for breaking your home for disobeying your husband if your husband tell you something even if what he's saying is a lie Believe me, you're not going to prove it to anybody. Nobody is interested. There is no court. There is no case. You guys are not in court that you want to prove to some uh, prove to the judge that your husband is lying. It's just between both of you. This is where you create a system to make your home work. Because at the end of the day, 
If your husband says something that is not right, he's going to see it. There is a way you come to a person, you, you ad admonish the person. It will not be disrespect. Rather, he, the person will see sense in what you're saying. But if you come like you are lying, that is not the truth. You are not this kind of thing. It makes a person mad. There is no already made home anywhere. There is no better marriage anywhere. Whatever that involves two persons, expect ups or down. But it depends on you if you want to make your home work. And if you want to break it, it all depends on you. And like me, I've always said, there's nothing in this world. I'm a happy married man. Even, even if I wasn't married, or even if something happened and that I have to remarry again, I will never marry a woman who left her home, or a woman who divorced her husband. There is no amount of money that will be given to me that will make me marry a woman who divorced her husband. Because my people make this parable that the stick you used in beating the ones a true, uh, a true, uh, truthful person of yesterday, the stick you use in beating that person today. If you don't throw that stick away, you are still going to use it to beat the new person you just brought in. So. People got to be wise. Wherever you go in this world, no one is interested if you prove your husband wrong. What if your marriage work is your gain? If it doesn't work, it's your loss. So you got to be wise there. How do I build my marriage? Your marriage cannot look like other people's home. Your marriage is your marriage. If anybody comes and tell you that make uh, for your home to work, this is a way you have to follow. This is a follow my own way. No, there is no. Your marriage is yours. Another person's marriage is it, his or her own. The way you manage your own must not be the way I manage my own. But the basic, the basic uh, aspect of marriage, the of uh, con uh, con the basic conduct of marriage is respect and love respect and love the both of you have to find out how to make it work it lies on both of you not a third party of course the third party might have a good intention but whatever thing they are going to tell you it's just going to last for a while because this that is not your foundation that is not something you are you are you find out from within yourself this is something you borrow from someone you give it back but sit down and think how do i run my home in the first place what do i want do i really love my wife or i'm just pretending try to figure out all those things because many things can lead a man into marriage emotion can lead a man into marriage lust can lead a man into marriage but sit down, think about what you really want and see how you can get it. Because at the end of the day, if your home break, bro, sis, it's going to be on you. I've decided in my life that no one will ever come and settle my home. It used to happen. But I've realized in this world that everybody has their own crocodile in their cupboard. They say, now we'll talk to you come outside. Now you go know. People are trying not to allow other people to experience the bad side of marriage which they are experiencing. This is the good intention of so many people. But the only way to avoid that is not to tell you. The only way to avoid that is to allow you have that basic
background from within you. Something you cannot regret. Something you cannot look at person and say, now nah, you make me do this thing. You are the reason why I took this step. Because when someone asks you to do something and you did it that way, if it fails, you will always go back to that person. That you, and you always fought that person. The blame, you will always have this mind of pushing the blame to someone else. But if it if something that came from you, you won't push the blame to someone else. Rather, you put it on yourself and you stand up again. Strengthen yourself and you come out better. That is what I want and that is what I wish you all. Have a nice day. Marriage is good. Marriage is bitter. You have to make it work. From the bitter, you get a sweet taste of marriage. So, from the bitter, you get a sweet taste of marriage. Sometimes marriage is like a chewing gum. When you start chewing gum, it will be very sweet. That is the process of dating, the process of you know, the process of getting out uh, the moment you get into marriage you're still you know uh, having that sweet taste but the time will come when that sweet taste goes away only the wise still retain the chewing gum many people what they do they just spit it out and they take another one and put it in their mouth they realize within few minutes that one lose taste as well the spirit uh, they keep changing it but the wise understand that Chewing gum is not all about the taste. Chewing gum is to make sure your mouth get busy. Because when your mouth closed for uh, a long time, it starts to have a kind of uh, odor. It's normal. When you, that's why when you, even when you brushed, you brush before going back to, going to sleep. When you wake up, you're still gonna feel some kind of you no know, um, bad breath, you know? but when you still close your mouth during the day for some time without eating anything, without drinking anything, your mouth you're gonna you know perceive this kind of uh, bad breath that you wouldn't be. You think everybody is perceiving it. It might just be you alone perceiving it. So by that, because of that, you might. You might don't want to talk to people, but nobody will understand what is really going on. So the best thing is you just put a chewing gum in your mouth. Once, as like myself, once I put a chewing gum in my mouth, I spit out the sweet part of it. I retain the normal um, taste, the tasteless part of, part of it. So that is how it is. That is what marriage is. From there you begin to get used to it and start to create sweetness from this tasteless uh, gum. So that is how marriage is. Not until you find the, your base how to create sweetness from your marriage that shouldn't even exist at all. You will always believe there is a sweeter one out there. And the truth is everybody they struggle. Everybody they struggle. We like getting money full everywhere. Everybody they struggle when it comes to union between two persons. Have a nice day.